Johnny Talk Sports, another episode of Johnny Talks Football. Today I will recap the 2015 college football season. Now the 2015 college football season is wrapped up and in the books. And all we can do now is just reminisce this season and look forward to the 2016 season. But I will get into the 2016 season in a little bit. But first, let's just go over some of the memories and just reminisce it. Because that's all you can do is just reminisce it. It was just a beautiful time of the year. September 3rd is just not too long away. It'll be here sooner than you know it. In fact, in a couple of weeks, we have National Signing Day. And then a couple of weeks after that, we'll have spring football. And then when we get into maybe the last week of May, first week of June, we'll have the magazine companies such as Athlon Sports and Phil Steele and Lindy's. They'll release their top 10s and top 25s and their predictions for this season. And then pretty soon when we get into August, we'll have the quarterback battles for some of these colleges, teams that will be won and lost. And then a little bit after that, we'll have the 2016 season. It's not that long to wait. We have some other sports that are in between that. Like we have a couple of NFL games left. We have about seven NFL games left this season. Then we have college basketball till April, which should keep us entertained. And then we have the NBA playoffs, and then we had some hockey playoffs, and then we got we actually have the Olympics because it's 2016. We got the Olympics now. So that should keep us pretty entertained and occupied. I've talked too much about it already. Let's get to this recap. Now for this recap, how this is going to work is I have questions to ask you guys, the viewers. Now I'm going to ask this question. I'm hoping you guys can comment these down below in the comment section. But I'm going to read a question and then I'm going to go over my answer. And then when you're wa as you're watching this video, in fact... I think you're probably going to listen to it. I th I'd recommend you just go down to the comment section and just type away as I'm talking. So I feel like it's easier for me to do that with other people. So I'm kind of giving you a viewer's test. Now the first question is that I'm asking you, what was your favorite memory from this season? So I'm going to give, so for example, I'm going to give you mine right here. Mine was the ending to the Michigan and Michigan State game. Because it looked like Michigan had it in the bag. All I had to do was punt the football away. And they would have... There would have been a 99.98% chance they would have won that game. But the punter couldn't hold it correctly. He he kind of did one of those rugby like shovel passes. Like If you've watched rugby before, you know what I'm talking about. But then it was out in the open field. And Michigan State recovered it and ran it back for the game-winning touchdown. It's not that that made it a good memory. The memory was what they were showing right as soon as Michigan State won the game. Where they had this Michigan fan going like this. The Surrender Cobra. What that did is it put the Surrender Cobra. It trademarked the Surrender Cobra. The game was good, but the trademark of Surrender Cobra was probably the best thing that happened Like. I know it was the pro it was probably the greatest ending in college football history. I know many of you might think a couple of ACC fanatics, you'd probably say Florida State and Georgia Tech was probably a good ending as well with the block six. And then Duke Miami was that was kind of the worst thing to happen this season. Duke should have won that game. Miami should have lost it. But oh well. There's nothing we can do about it now. All right, the next one is, what was, in your opinion, the biggest upset of the season? Now, here's mine. Mine was Michigan State over Ohio State. Because Michigan State came into that game as an 11 to 12 point underdog in that one. Many people, like myself, I unfortunately doubted Michigan State. It was sloppy weather conditions. It was a very low scoring game, which I, th I should have thought it was going to be that way. And I originally thought that last August when I saw the schedules come out. I thought, I wouldn't be surprised if that came down to the end. But then as the season progressed, I thought Ohio State was going to blow out Michigan State in that one. 
if Michigan State did not look good in games prior to that. Like, for example, Michigan State struggled against Michigan. They struggled against, like, Purdue and Central Michigan for a while. They barely escaped Rutgers. The list can just go on and on for that. So it was the biggest upset because it made me realize not to doubt many teams. As much as you know what happens, what you, what you think is going to happen, it will, you might not be right in the end. So that was my biggest upset of the season because, in my opinion, it decided one of the four teams in that playoff. Because if, if Michigan State loses that game and Ohio State wins it, then we're looking at an undefeated Ohio State playing an undefeated Iowa in the Big Ten Championship game. And I would have had Ohio State beat Iowa in that one, probably by double digits. I know I'm going to sound hypocritical by because I just said that I should never doubt a team, but I just didn't think Iowa played that tough of a schedule compared to like Ohio State's. Plus, I thought Ohio State had too much talent on that team, considering they've had all those juniors and underclassmen declare for the NFL like Joey Bosa and Ezekiel Elliott. So it kind of just proves my point a little bit. So it did impact one of the four spots of the college football playoff. All right, next one. Who do you think was the most surprising team this season? Truth is, there was a lot of surprises like North Carolina, Iowa, Houston, well, Navy, because they were ranked as high as I think they were like 14th at one point. So those four, but out of the out of those four, I would say North Carolina because that was just something that I was least expecting. Like I would have never thought North Carolina football would be 11-1 and one playing for an ACC championship. That was, the, that was like the last thing that I expected. So that's why they were a surprise. And the next one, who do you think is your, who should be your preseason number one team? For me, I would just choose Alabama. I know they're losing key players like Jake Coker and Derrick Henry and a lot of talented players on defense. But don't you just think it's only fitting that a defending national championship team should be number one to start the season? So that's why Alabama is my number one. But if people don't think that way, then it'll be Clemson because they have many stars coming back, like Deshaun Watson. But if it, it couldn't be, if it could be somebody other than, like if it had to be somebody other than Alabama or Clemson, I would just choose Ohio State because any team led by Urban Meyer is in the championship discussion. Just There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right, next question, viewers. What team do you think can make the college football playoff next year that didn't make it this year? I guess I'm kind of just pointing because it's like it's on you, like the cue. Like, kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to say it, but it's, I'm not going to go too much into it. It's kind of like when the, kind of like when it's like action. Like a movie director just says action. Now, here's my team that can make the playoff next year that didn't make it this year. I think, well, if this team can win all their tough games next year, I would say Notre Dame. But, I, again, I don't even know if Notre Dame can win all their games, but they're going to have to if they're going to make the four-team playoff. Just like I said in the first video of this season, if Notre Dame was going to make the college football playoff, they'd have to go undefeated and win out. If they lost one, they were out of it. But they do have a tough schedule next season with games against Michigan State and Stanford and Texas. And Texas could be on the rise next year. USC. The list can go on and on for them. Another team I think that could make it as well could actually be Michigan. They have some tough games next season against Iowa on the road and Ohio State on the road and against Michigan State on the road. I'm thinking one of those two teams could make some noise a little bit. And the last one for you guys. Could we possibly see a Clemson and Alabama rematch in next year's national championship game? Now Clemson has 
a bunch of starters coming back. I know they might not have good players. The talent could be could be missing, but the depth shouldn't be that hard for Clemson. Clemson's got a pretty manageable schedule next season. And so does Alabama, in my opinion. I just think that, truthfully, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw both these teams in the playoff next year. In fact, Alabama is not the team that's just going to replace. They're going to rebuild. Alabama pretty much already has the running game mastered for next season, and we just don't know it. The quarterback problems will be solved for Alabama, and we don't even know it. Like They could be solved already, and we have no idea about it. It's kind of like Miami back in the 2000s. They didn't they didn't replace, they rebuild and reload. So Alabama is like this decade of Miami back in the early 2000s. And I was looking at team schedules for next season. I was kind of just browsing a little bit ago. And I already noticed one that could probably be one for the ages. Oklahoma versus Ohio State. I just tweeted about it, and it could be one for the ages. I tweeted out on my sports account at JB Talk Sports. I'll put it in the description box. I tweeted to mark your calendar for that game because it could be one for the ages. It could alternately determine a spot in the college football playoff because Oklahoma still has Baker Mayfield, and Ohio State's Still has JT Barrett. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the game of the year. Anyway, that is my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you next time.